oh, I didn't hear that. You just said www dot. And then what? What's after that? What's after the dot? After that, it is micro server. If you want, I'll spell it out for you. M I C R O. Like your body parts are micro, right? Right. And then server. Right. Your body parts are micro. Got it. And then server? Yes, server. S E R V E R. Without any spaces in between. Welcome to Scammer Jammer, Iron here, and we got another crazy call for you when we were calling some scammers, pretty much trolling them, having some fun. This was the later part of when we were calling and messing with them, so they were kind of catching on, but not really. Either way, it was a lot of fun, so here you go and enjoy. Thank you for getting connected to customer service. This is Jason. How are you doing today? Oh, Jason, I've been better. My wife told me to call. Uh, d don't want it. Don't want it no more. Cancel it. You don't want it. So can I have your order ID, sir? Well, I have to ask my wife, Dorothy. You want me to put her on the phone and you want me to help you? Uh, you just want to use my email? No, no, I just don't want your email. I wanted to know if you have the order ID. If you don't, can you help me with your last name? It's Freedom Rich. Okay, can you spell that out for me? It's F-R-E-I-D-E-N-R-E-I-C-H. And how do you spell that? What? How do you spell your last name, sir? It's F-R-E-I-D-E-N-R-E-I-C-H. Okay, so Mr. Rich, as I can see over here, that the order which you're talking about has been ordered last night. So you wanted it to get cancelled, right? Yeah, I didn't order no dang old. Now, my wife, she orders a lot of stuff for her cats. But that's it. We didn't know. I don't think she ordered nothing last night. What was it? As I can see over here that it was for an Apple iPhone. Oh, no, no, no. Nobody ordered no dang old iPhone. Right. Okay, so as you're telling me that you want to go ahead and cancel it right now, can you tell me if you have a computer or a laptop with yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. You do. And can you turn that on so I can send you the cancellation form? Or actually for you to fetch well, it out for yes, yourself? Yes, I, I already have the computer on. Now, you sound like a, a really cool guy. So between me and you, uh, I was looking. I, I've got these uh, websites that I go to for local singles in my area. And I was just looking at that. But don't tell my wife. Thank you, sir. I would take that as a compliment. That is totally fine. For a guy like you to search for singles, that is totally fine. I do as well. So can you be in front of your computer right now? Turn it on. Put on. Uh, click on your Google search. All right. That's what I open up now. Uh, I was in the circus for 30 years. And I was a clown. You know, one of the guys that comes out of that car. And we would fit 50 people in there. They, they can't do that nowadays. Uh, so I was uh, I was just looking on my clown dating That's profile. Because of the coronavirus, right? That's right. How do you know? I live in this planet as well. But that is <laughs> That's totally a good fine. point. That's Everybody on the planet on knows, Google. knows so can about you tell that. Me exactly. What can you see on your screen? What can you see on your screen? You want me to close my my clown dating site that I was checking to see if I got on the messages? Yes. Yes. Close your hot single uh, for now and that. just to open up a new tab in your Google Chrome. Do you know how to put All a website? Right. Oh, if I don't I even website, have to close the to clown thing. I can just open up and... Well, I'll be. I didn't know you could do that. I beg your pardon? I didn't know that you could open up a new, a new like, thing. Boy, you are good. Okay. You are good. You know what, Ozweepe? I learned something new, so thank you. Oh, I see All right. the good. So do you know if I give you a website, will you be able to put it down on the right place if you, uh, if I give you a website? Uh, yes, I can do that. Yes, I took a computer Perfect. course at the Learning Perfect. Annex. Right. You're a really smart guy. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to put over there on the website panel on the top, 
where you can see it must say http or something like that you need to make it empty and you need to start writing with www dot oh yes i do know that they taught me at the the class that www stands for worldwide webwide tech services so i know that much www dot okay so you need to type over there www dot affirmative got it right Is that it? No, no, sir. I said microserver. Do you want me to spell it out for you? Oh, I didn't hear that. You just said www dot, and then what? What's after that? What's after the dot? After that, it is microserver. If you want, I'll spell it out for you. M I C R O, like your body parts are micro, right? Right. And then server. Right. Your body parts are micro. Got it. And then server. Yes, server. S E R V E R, without any spaces in between. All right, and then what? All right, I've I've spelled the doubt. Micro server. Right, and then B O T yes. bot. B O T bot. Yes, all together. Then dot com. Micro server bot dot com. Yes, correct. And can you just spell that out for me once again? The last three letters. Is it B as in Bravo? O as an Oscar and T as in Tango. You want me to spell it out for you? Yes, sir. All right. It's B as in Beetle Dom. After that. O as in Obligate. Right. And then T as in Tabernacular. Is that right? Right. And then dot com. Okay. And then dot com. Microserver dot right. dot com all together without any spaces in between. And as I can see that you are a really smart guy, I know that you won't make that mistake. After clicking on Enter. What comes up on your screen? Uh, uh, well, it's just got this little blue swirly thing right now. Maybe it takes a moment to to work. Right, you're totally correct, as always. So once uh, it comes up, you let now me know. Now I see micro server. Well, it it says MSB. We will help to improve your business. Right, building and a successful business. Right. So as you told me that you are using a Windows computer, right? Yes. How do you know, boy? You are good. You are good. Okay. So can you see on the top right? It says home. Our servers a refund. Yes, I do see that. Give a click on our servers. All right. Now I see And Windows then can you see Server there is a home. Blue box. A Windows Server two. A Mac Give a OS. Give a click on Windows Server two. All right. Wow. Okay. Did you give a click on Windows Server two? Yes. Uh, yes. Right. And after you give a click on Windows Server two, uh, can you see any changes in your screen? I oh, don't see nothing. It still says Windows Server, Windows Server two. Right. And can you see on the bottom left corner there must be a small box which says Team Viewer dot exe. Can you see that Team Viewer setup on the left bottom of your screen? A little box. I do see that. How do you know? Right now, give a click, double click on that file. Give a double click on it. Well, it says it says uh, it's got like a little timer that's counting down from nine to seven. It's at now. Now it says that says four to two seconds left. Right. So once it completes, you let me know, okay? All right. Now, well, this thing is uh, doing its thing. Uh, you you're pretty skilled there. It sounds like you know what you're talking about. How long do you have to go to school to be able to learn these fancy computers? Yes, it it did take a while, but thank you very much for your appreciation. So I believe that 42 seconds are over. And can you tell me if the countdown has ended yet? Oh, it did. How did you know? Right. So give a double click on it now. All right. Now, now some kind of blue it? swirl of thing came up. Right, and and then it says, "Welcome to Team Viewer." Right. Is this and that thing that you can check sports scores on? Because I also go to this website called Footandball dot com where I check my website. Is that I check my sports scores? Is that what we're doing with this Team Viewer thing? I just want no, to no, cancel no. the order. Right. 
and that is what it is for and not for sports or gaming so okay so can you see if you can see any prompt which says finish or next or install over there i see something that says yes give a click on yes well now something popped up with some kind of remote and phone number okay i believe that it's a nine digit number right it is it is an i well let me count one two three four five six seven eight nine yes it is right and i want you to write down that nine digit number in a piece of pen and a paper and i believe that there is a password as well right yes and you know what when i took that computer course at the learning annex they mm -hmm. showed me that i could use this thing called the notepad right on my computer i'm going to use right. that and get some practice okay so so before you try to do that i want you to tell me those nine digit number which you see over there all right are you ready yes i am yes i have done perfect so now just give me one moment okay grab a piece of pen and a paper because i'm going to give you out the transaction id which you need to write down and tell me when you're ready oh right. well how long is this going to take because my wife has 12 cats and they're going to start getting hungry it's feeding time right and we own a that, big cat sanctuary right and listen to me sir because somebody called me the king the king of tigers right right you are a tiger right so uh, this is something important which well, I, I have tell you tiger's that blood are... that's for sure uh what right. do you want me to you want me to jot down something yes i want you to jot down something but before that because this is something really important because we need to secure our connection right now so i would ask you to not to touch your computer for a while while i do that once it is done i'm going to let you know all right we're going to see you secure our connection like you're going to be my best friend yes i'm going to be your best friend but for a while because this is for the transaction purpose only so once i'm done i will be leaving you and your computer behind all right so just oh, give me one moment good, because minute. i don't I'll have no that. friends it's just been me and my wife you know with the tiger so sage you and, and her ex-husband just yeah. mysteriously disappeared so i get very nervous right. and i'm going to need a friend to watch right. my back you going to care about me and make sure nothing happens to me of, of course of course i'm going to do that so for now just All right. give me what one you moment want me and to type on this notepad computer. you can talk to me you can talk to me what you're telling me i'm listening to you but don't touch your computer just leave your mouse as it is and i'm going to let you Since know you're my you best have to friend talk. you can talk to me too you got something on your mind you want to talk about i'm here for you you got you got a new confession to make right all right all right not a problem so right now just don't touch your computer because i'm going to just secure the connection don't touch your mouse or anything okay just give well, me I one we were secure in our connection as best friends by sharing everything and share What's the worst thing you ever done in your life? I'm going to tell you that, and I'm. Oh, I'm listening, and don't worry, I won't yeah, tell I'm nobody. Tell Since yes, me and yes, you are best friends now. Yes, I am going to tell you that, and be sure that I'm going to ask for you as well. But for now, don't touch your computer. That is what I'm asking you well, to do for now. What don't okay? you want anybody else to know? Like, what's the worst no. thing you ever done in your whole life? You would never tell anybody. I am going to tell you that. And like I told you, I'm going um, to this, ask you as well. But for now, you don't need to touch your computer. That is what I'm asking you. If you well, can you do that, you told me to write something down on that call. notepad. I'm waiting right. for you to. I'm waiting for your confession. Know. What I'll right. do is tell me the worst thing you've ever done, and then tell me what you want me to type down. You sing, ask me. I don't need no license. Should I just close this? Whatever. I don't want to buy it. Right. Okay. I just I don't want to buy that license. All right. Yes. I'll sweep but you didn't tell me what I thought we were sharing. You didn't tell but, me but, but, what but type of the horrible thing, person the first thing you that are. what you need to do is What's that you need to tell me do ever that day? you need to tell me if you uh, no no he's not kid boga. You're not kid boga right? What you uh, is that some kind of insult? What's a kid boga? <laughs> it is not a insult. 
He's way better than you. Are you sure? Because I, I know that uh, your country of you. origin you like is trees? India. I can, I can tell in your accent. Is Kit Bogus some well, kind of you are from uh, India. You have known from a long time. Bro, What's that language that, that you we speak over friends, there? Now you're lying to me. Uh, country of origin. The beginning Him of the did? friendship, you're starting it with a lie. You're starting our friendship with a lie? Yes, you are doing that. And I'm feeling bad about you're it. You're lying? What are you lying you... to me about? <laughs> <laughs> you are the person who lied. Don't try to turn it around. Okay. You're trying to turn it around that you're not a liar? <laughs> what are you lying to like me about? Now. You're talking like a kid now. I thought that it's going to be interesting talking to you, but you are getting bored. But I'm getting bored. You're getting bored? No, I was yes, weak, I'm getting you're bored lost. because you're talking like a kid. Just tell me what the worst thing that you've ever done is. I thought that's how we were connecting our server. Repeating the same thing isn't going to work. Have a good day. You don't want to be my friend? <laughs> oh, that was good. We're going right back. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, I Take think I called the wrong you. number. God, I don't want to answer that. You just, you, just turned your, you just turned your freaking voice to a woman. <laughs> no, nice, that nice. was my husband. I'm Dorothy. <laughs> Hi, I'm <laughs> Okay, I'm going to hang well, Please funny. don't call me back, okay? But my friend is no, interested I'm not going to call to. you back because you've got a whole bunch of people listening to you on the internet. You want to talk about of being a course, dirty thief? Of course, Can I say hi, motherfuckers? Uh, <laughs> yeah, say hi to everyone. That Now, what I want you to do is tell us how many victims' lives that you ruined today. Right. How many people's lives have you ruined today? Let's start there. One. Just one person you've stolen money from? Yes, and that too not much. That's one like... too many. Why are you doing this? How is it too many? It's just one. You steal money from people. People, why are you stealing money from people? So just you can just send it. To Is it because you don't have any skills? Like you don't know how to grow food, like a farmer, or you true, can't build true, buildings true. or fix electronics? <laughs> why are you a thief who's stealing money from people? Tell us. Hello. Hello. I was talking to the thief. Why did you hang up the phone? Now we're just going to give him a little bit of hell until we change the number. <laughs> Hello? Yes, it's a door fit. Freedom Rich. I don't want it. How can I help you? Cancel it. I don't want it. I didn't do it. Okay, can you hear me, madam? Yes. Hello? Yes. Actually, ma'am, yes. the office hours are almost over, so can you please call me tomorrow? What's your name, honey? Ma'am, my name is Kim Wilson. You can call me tomorrow. Okay. Afternoon. Now, Kim, you have 40 people listening to you be a thief. And we want to talk to you about being a thief. How many victims have you stolen from today and ruined their lives? Hung up. Hello. Yeah, it's Clive. It's out. Who am I talking to? I was trying to search your stream. What is the name of your channel? You want to listen to yourself? Of course I do. All right. So, you know, I always wondered, if you hear yourself, if you listen to the recorded phone calls, okay, and I'm you not hear here to get what a horrible, from you. Can you tell horrible, me the, dirty uh, name thief of the that you are, or not? is that Can enough to get you to stop being a criminal? Can you tell me I always wondered, the name of the channel? If you listen to yourself... Not? Is that enough for you to realize, oh my God, I'm a terrible person. Oh, I've yeah, got to stop up. robbing and stealing. So we actually That's effectively it. wasted, what, like almost two hours worth of their time so far with a couple of different calls. <laughs> All right. Well, that was the end of that. And effectively, we trolled and scam baited that center for a number of hours, which was a lot of fun. And it just essentially wasted their time so they couldn't talk to potential victims. That's a win-win in our books. So it was a lot of fun and we really enjoyed doing that. And then near the end, they're like, oh, no, 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 that's not Kipoga to the person in the back, to the boss or supervisor or somebody. And then he's like, oh, wait, no, is this Kipoga? I don't know. I just kind of find that funny. So that's all they can go really go to. They don't go to anybody else. And hey, that's perfectly fine with us. So 
If they want to think that, well, they can. Let them. Don't matter. Either way, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified when new videos drop, as well as when we go live. Because we do go live, you can hang out in the chat, watch the scams unfold in real time. We also stream on Twitch, so make sure you follow us there. So when we do go live, you can follow us and watch there. And also, please share this with those that are most vulnerable because those are the ones that they don't realize what a scam is and maybe how the scam is set up. These videos will help educate them and make them aware that it is a scam and hopefully prevent them from falling victim to said scam, keeping their money in their pocket. All right, sound off in the comments what you thought, and we'll see you in the next one.